Hello and welcome to DC TV Recap. I'm Jason Inman. I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. This is the show where we talk about all the DC TV shows, and until the shows come back in January, we're just going to be answering your questions. So we took a whole bunch of your fan questions from last week's DC TV video, and now we got a whole new bunch of questions to answer. Great. Let's go, Ashley. Let's Here we go. go. Majorin Robin asked cute name now that constantine is coming for a two-parter in legends is there a chance that he or somebody else who is magic user like zatanna xanadu or jason blood could become a new legend now we all know constantine's coming soon Ooh. i think this introduces a lot of interesting ideas beyond even the choices that you gave in that question um do we think zatanna could be on, uh, no, sh sh they asked, could they join Legends? I think the chances of that are very slim. I'll, I'll agree with that. But I think the chances for guest stars and future guest stars is very high. I think Constantine coming on this show, Zatanna is a character that everybody wants. So desperately. I think Zatanna will make an appearance somewhere on one of the DC TV shows. Can I lay down some uh, DC fan casting ideas for some of these magical characters Shh. that I think would be great? I guess, sure. Um, so I'm thinking if you really want to capture your youtube -y type audience, you got to cast Tiffany Smith as Zatanna, <laughs> Jason Inman as Jason Blood, wow. and then right. myself as June Moon. I just think that'd be an excellent idea. You want to be we, June Moon? I would love because in the in the Mystic U comic that's going on way. right now, June Moon is the more prominent of the Enchantress personas. Yeah. And since Enchantress figures more highly in the movies, a way you could have the same characters to do the opposite persona. And she's kind of this hairy, fair like Wicked Girl. So that's my joke, guys. All there right. you go. <laughs> I think the uh, the chances of us being cast in those roles are 0.0001%. Tell the DC streaming servers you love to uh, see. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, I think of all of these choices besides Zatanna, I think Jason Blood has a real strong shot about being, especially on Legends, because they could just go back to Arthurian times. Mm -hmm. They already have that set. It would, uh, production-wise, be very cheap to go back to that. Also, I think a way to do Etrigan without having to have like a 3D model or a dude in a suit. CGI, yeah. um, Would be to have Jason hear his voice. Like, you could hear Etrigan mm -hmm. speaking, even if he's not always around. Sure. And I think that'd be really cool. And if Nate, you know, this would be a way to bring Nate as the historian back mm -hmm. in a more powerful way. Nate might know all the different places that he's cropped sure. up over the years. I think since we've seen a CGI parasite in Supergirl, I think we can definitely see a CGI demon. Especially if all you do is his face. You're right, you're right. But you if know? I was pitching, like, maybe a five-episode arc, sure. that'd be a way to keep costs down. So, my Opinions has a question for us. Hey, what don't you guys... Hey, what? Hey, what don't you guys review Gotham each week? Because we don't. Next question. One, two, three, Danger Dan asks, question. Arrow has been around for so many seasons. Six. <laughs> you guys just use grammar in these questions. Uh, Arrow, since Arrow been around for so many seasons, how do you think last the how do you think last season should be structured? Bill and Finale. I'm gonna predict that they the I'm gonna predict through the bad grammar here that the question is. How do we think mm -hmm. the last season should be struck? I want to kind of read these all as Tommy Wiseau. How you think last season should be struck? Well, if this person's second language is English, I'll give a little more leeway. And apologies. Um, but uh, please, um, please type with a little more care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I guess the question is... Um, how do we think the last season of Arrow mm. should be structured? Now, we've already predicted that we think Arrow is going to go at least seven seasons. At least seven um, seasons. Do we think season seven will be the end or season eight? I think season eight will be the end. No. I mean, we're in season six right now. Yep. So, yeah, I guess. I think season eight will be the end. Yeah. I think we'll get to, to eight seasons. Um, you know, it's, it, this is a tough question because I kind of feel like Arrow season five was a pretty was a good final season of Arrow. Mm -hmm. um, now, of course, blowing up the island was uh, uh, in the wrong direction and stuff like that. Um, Ashley, who would you want as the villain? And what would you want as the feel? Or, or where, where, how do you want them to end TV Oliver Queen's story? I would like TV Oliver Queen to get a happy ending. Really? Um, I would. He, of all of these characters, has, I would say, suffered the most. Mm -hmm. um, he's had the hardest go of it. He's had the, the fewest rewards. And ultimately, he's going to be forced to quit in a very Batman style or to end his crusade because he's just yeah. not going to be able to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Um in typical CW fashion, I think he will get a happy ending. I do think, even though he is married to Felicity, I think he's going to wind up with one of the canaries in the end. Mm -hmm. 
I think it'll probably be Laurel. That's not what I would like to see happen. That's what I think will happen. What honestly I would like to see happen is I would like Oliver to have to go out in a blaze of glory for the people he loves because everyone dies for Oliver. And so I think a nice reflective narrative on that would be Oliver dying for the people he loves. Mm -hmm. And then there's the finality and he's never coming back. Yeah. Um, that's what I would like to see. How about you? Uh, in terms of making a prediction for the villain, there's no... It's tough. Uh, who, it's really tough. Who knows? Uh, because they pulled in Batman villains, stuff Oliver's like that. Oliver's greatest villain is himself. Um, and they've already used Green Arrow's greatest villains already. Mm -hmm. um, I agree with you. I think Oliver has to die. Mm -hmm. I really do. Because I think he's like Batman. That this He doesn't get a happy ending. We've already tried that in the show. And he just came back to being Arrow. He's done it twice now. Also... It's lame you know, because it doesn't feel true to the character. Um, he will sacrifice himself mm -hmm. for other people out there. Uh, uh, he will die in a giant blaze of glory or something like that. That, to me, is the ending of Arrow. But now that doesn't mean that somebody else couldn't pick up the hood. True. Or somebody else couldn't be Red Arrow. Mm -hmm. We've seen that happen plenty of times. Or that the team couldn't continue. Yeah. Um, I also now have a crazy theory, too. Uh, uh, maybe I'll leave it. I'll, I'll leave it. If we're going to do an Arrow prediction video, okay. I'll leave it for that. Um but yeah, I think Oliver has to die. Yeah, I, think, I agree. I think that's I think it has to go like Dark Knight Returns and, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh Ryan Moore asks, Ashley. Yes. Please answer this because I'm generally curious. Why do you hate Christmas? Um, I don't hate Christmas. I think Christmas is a perfectly adequate early winter holiday. Um, I hate this question though. Great. Uh next question. Uh Mohammed Anwar asks. Uh, how would you feel if Mollus turned out to be Savitar? Similar to how the Legends repair Damien, hmm. maybe they could repair Savitar too. What are your thoughts? Now, Malice, of course, is the big bad, apparently, this season of Legends of Tomorrow. That's an interesting question. I think it's very unlikely um, because I, I just think that Savitar was so bungled that I would rather just forget them all together. I think Malice is going to be something new yeah. that we've never experienced before. Any, I, I understand where the thought comes from because they cleaned up a really messy villain for Arrow, so why wouldn't yeah. they clean up a really messy villain for, for Flash? Flash? I just hate Savitar. I hate Barry with the pizza face prosthetic. I hate the whole idea of it, so I, I really hope that's not... Mm -hmm. If that's the case, I'll be disappointed. Yeah. Um, I really will. I'm honestly hoping it's a little more like a Dormammu and Doctor Strange kind of sure. level threat. Um, but I think there is a reveal that it is a more well-known character. Well, I, you know, I don't know if it'll be a well-known character, but I, there, I do agree that there will be some sort of a reel mm -hmm. on it. Like, either it'll be something that the Legends caused, or maybe Rip caused, yeah. or the Time Masters caused, or maybe the Time Bureau caused yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there'll be something like that. I, I don't know if there's a big, like, I'm this person reveal Oh, coming. maybe not necessarily, yeah. Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know about that, because I don't know if there's a character in the Arrowverse that would fit that bill, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Even Flash, like, I don't think there's a character there. It's tough there. for me to think of another villain that I would really love to see the reveal. Yeah, the, whoa. Um, I mean, if you can bring Reverse Flash back, I yeah, guess. Yeah, because that's the other problem <laughs> with that is right now, Malice seems like uber powerful. Yeah. And we haven't met a villain like that in this universe. I agree. So I don't know who you could say it would be, and I would believe it. Even Savitar would be a little ridiculous, even though he's like a speed god. It would be... It would still be slightly ridiculous that he's malice because you'd be like, well, how did you learn magic? Yeah, it'd be a stretch, but you know, uh, that doesn't mean it will not happen. Sure, I mean that. I, I do think this is an interesting question. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right, next question. Laura Elms asks, question: Do you think Barry is really the Reverse Flash, and real Barry is still in the Speed Force? No. I sure hope not. I don't think so. I don't think we're doing the the return of Barry Allen Again? from Mark. No, the return of <laughs> Barry Allen from Mark Wade in the comic books. I don't think we're doing that at all. Yeah. Um, and also, this would be very similar to the reveal of Savitar. I, I don't. That's think what I mean. Like an yeah. evil Barry Allen twice in a row. I could see them going back to that well, but mm -hmm. not this early. Back to the Harrison Wells. Uh, all all of the wells always please. Next question. Machina Anamata asks, "I want Gideon." To join the team in a synthetic body like EDI and Mass Effect 3. Yes, 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 100% yes. We've seen that actress already. Yeah, she's great. Uh, she's beautiful. She's a great actress. And I like the idea of doing this. It's like very similar to Andromeda. If you ever saw that Kevin Sorbo Action Hour alien show that was <laughs> terrible. Uh, but on that, Lexa Doig, uh, who has been Italia. who has been Talia al Ghul in this universe, she played the robotic version mm -hmm. of the AI of the ship. 
I think that would be cool if Gideon made herself a robot body and interact with the team. Do you like that I idea? I do. Um, why not have one of, I guess we just kicked Jax off the ship, but I was like, why, or, or I don't know, anyone who can build anything, any of the scientists, like 3D printer, a cool body. Or Ray work could build with it. A, right, Ray could yep. build it. I forget that Ray is smart. Yeah. Um, we are a pro Gideon channel. Yeah. Pro <laughs> Gideon all the way, my friends. So go down in the comments and leave us more questions for the next DC TV recap video. Video, and we might pick them while you're down there. Click subscribe. And why not click on one of the videos popping up on the screen? And for more exclusive geeky content, go to patreon.com slash Jawin. Until the next video, stay fresh, my super friends.